Hey YouTube, this is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love, and welcome to my channel. Um, any information that you need as far as uh, knowing about me, uh, just look in the description below. Everything is listed there in the description. My name, my phone number, my email address, uh, Instant Go. There's a um, link there you can click if you want to come join me on Instant Go. Um, so I'm here to do your mid-month reading and this is going to be for the sign of Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs I want to let you know that you know the messages that are coming through is coming from spirit uh, your angel guides um, your and your ancestors okay that's where I get all my um, uh, messages from and it's not me it's spirit you know it has nothing to do with me and there's nothing personal going on with me I'm just getting the messages and delivering to them to you you guys okay so with that being said um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the reading for the sign of Libra I'm gonna start out doing um, whatever I'm hearing or seeing and then I'm going to get into the cards so what I'm seeing with you a lot of you Libras out there is that um, I'm seeing like some kind of a, like a opening there's an opening for some of you Libras out there and it's for male and female um, it also can be going on with someone around you and this, you know, being this is love reading, that's what I'm focused on. So I feel like there's some of you out there that are, um, there's a new opportunity out there or something you're supposed to be growing. You're supposed to be growing. But you're right there, but you're just not walking through that door. You're not walking through the door, you're just standing there. And you know you're getting all kind of information because you guys are you have a gift of discernment okay you have a gift of discernment where you can just like read people and you can pick up on people's energies and this is what's coming flowing through you but you're just and this is just for some of you not all of you okay you're just not getting it or you don't you you don't there, there's something stagnant going on with you when it comes to receiving messages that are um, paranormal, paranormal or you know from the universe spirit guides or your ancestors they're really trying to talk to you I'm sorry I just saw something myself against my spirit guide all right. Um, also, picking up that some of you Libras or somebody around you is um, is uh, they're either treating you or you're treating someone like uh, uh, um, making somebody think there's a relationship or something like that. But it's just casual. They, I'm just hearing like you're having a lot of casual encounters it, uh, with with whether well, it's a male or a female. Okay, there's there's it's like people. It's like, I don't know if it's your energy and maybe that's what they mean by, you know, listening to your guides or whatever's going on. Um, you're uh, gravitating these people around you who, um, who just have casual relationships with you because of the way you are, the, from what the energy that and vibe that you're giving off, like the way you feel about yourself is what you attract to yourself when it comes to you know love or the opposite sex you you you, you, gra you gravitate for what you putting out there and I'm hearing it's just like casual off and on relationships coming in going out um, I feel like you are getting you are losing interest in all that type of stuff and you're wondering what's going on well it's time for you to start listening to your spirit guys because they're trying to tell you what's going on they're trying to show you what's going on it's something with inside yourself that needs to be corrected that's all uh, and if you take the time out for yourself and slow down a little bit you will find out if it's not you somebody else doing this to you or it's 
you doing this and somebody's losing interest in you because of you doing this or vice versa you're losing interest in someone uh because they're doing this you know treating you like casual this is a casual thing it's not no relationship it's nothing no commitment nothing and somebody's just like i, I, I don't want that shit I feel like you need to give yourself some uh, some care, some careness and some kindness. You need to do this for yourself. Because if you give yourself some care and some kindness, guess what? You'll get some care and some kindness from your mate or another uh, or your opposite, okay? Your opposite sex, whether it's male or female. If you treat yourself that way with care and kindness, then you will get that back in return. Because everything that you put out in the universe coming from yourself is going to be coming right back to you. Because that's the natural, that's the spiritual laws of life. That's what we're going to be living by, you know, when we leave this, this earth. You know, this whatever this is here, this learning lesson place, whatever it is. We're going to leave here and you best believe it's time to, you know, know spirituality now before you get there or else you have to come back and you have to do it again and the situation may be different it may be worse it may not be as good as it is now so it's time to get it together okay all right now i'm going to shuffle the cards for libra sun moon rising and venus uh remember these are just general messages you guys remember that keep that in mind and again it's not simply love you know personally giving messages out and all that is coming from spirit guides and um your ancestors you don't like the messages you know if you, you don't like truth because truth will set you free i hear that all the time the truth shall set you free that's all you got is truth and it doesn't cost a damn thing to tell the truth but if you're going to you know pretend and lie and want to hear lies and things like that well you know what Spirit's just going to let you continue to do that as long as you want to. But I'm going to tell you what. They don't never leave. They're always there for you. Okay? Always. You don't have to listen to, you know, none of these messages. Okay? Especially even if it pertains to you. But it's time now to make changes in our life and prepare us for what spirit wants us to have your spirit guides you know everybody deserves best everybody deserves good things in their life you have to realize that it has to come from within inside of you now first i'm going to do the um these are my cards i told did i say that already simply loves cards um i want to look at your current situation What's going on with Libras now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. What's going on with Libras, Spirit Guides? What's going on with Libra? Tell me what's going on with Libra. Give me the information uh, that's going to benefit them for their highest good. Thank you. Y'all don't want to talk, huh? What's going on? Hmm. And I'm not going to pull on myself. I just feel like I'm in control when I'm doing that. So... Y'all like, I like to show you live so you can see that it's nothing set up. There you go. All right, your current situation is the sun, which is major arcana, but the sun is in reverse. I hope y'all can see this. I'm using my cell phone because I haven't having problems with all the, all these doggone things that I have here is a problem with them, but this seems to be doing okay so far. So the sun card you got the wheel of fortune two major arcana cards here there's something about you guys or somebody around you is not moving forward you're resisting change okay you're resisting change you're resisting um you know the light inside of you is dimmed because with it right side up it talks about happiness joy feeling like a child again 
um, a rebirth, like you just renewed yourself, but you or somebody around you is resisting. You're resisting your, um, this is destiny, okay? Because these both are major arcana cards. So spirit is, spirit is saying, um, for some of you Libras out there, this is not going to pertain to everybody. And it also can mean the messages can go in reverse. Remember that, okay? I don't need to hear it that, oh, it's not me, this and that. Like I just said, these messages can go in reverse. So your current situation is the wheel of fortune in reverse, refusing to make change, refusing to move forward, uh, being stuck. And then you have um, uh, what's, what's you talking about you, your current situation here, or your uh, what's coming towards you. And what's coming towards you about you is you not making a change. You not wanting to change. You're not wanting to be, you're not in a happy place right now, okay? You're just not. You or someone around you is not happy. Very, um, two major arcana cards there together. Now, what's crossing you is the Ten of Cups. So, you know, we could be talking about, you know, you, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, some type of fire sign I feel like with the um or air sign um this talks about happiness and wanting a happy home this is what's crossing you okay it's crossing you that you may be a family you may have a family or something like that with children or maybe uh it talks about completion that's crossing you Beside these first two cards, that's real crossing you about having, um, starting all over again, starting brand new, having a happy family, completing something. But there's, right now, it's, it's, or there could be somebody around you who wants to start all over again and have a happy home, the children, the whole nine yards, okay? Because that talks about being happy and content in what you want so that's crossing you right now okay now let's see what um what your recent past says it's funny because you are not happy and you are not moving forward in your current situation or your partner isn't and i just you know when i said that uh intuitively I felt that same energy okay and we got the three of cups three of, what am I doing? three of cups here okay cancer Pisces Scorpio some of you can be dealing with um the happy because this ten of cups is crossing you uh, your recent past here um, is about um, some type of joy or happiness or something um, it could also talk about you know drinking um, and with the recent past with that three of cups it also uh, it talks about emotions your emotions um, it also could talk about third party situations and that may have just what being that the ten of cups is crossing you your recent past is that uh, something came between this happy home which was a third party now uh, your present your present situation now is the page of coins you could be dealing with a uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but these are just energy cards right here, okay? So you may have energy. You got two pentacle cards and um, well, you just got one so far and you got two uh, cup cards. So the page of coins is somebody who delivers messages regarding um, something new, some type of uh, offer you could have had a, a job a, a job offer or an offer of somebody you know lending you money or you lending somebody money some type of communication regarding uh, money from someone because pages are uh, younger pages are younger okay they're they're a little immature so there could be you know some money problems in a relationship that could be what's going on too or somebody could be 
remember I said these messages can go vice versa somebody could be fooling around with someone for 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 check for money or somebody could be begging for money or something like that okay for your hopes and fears you got the um the four coins as you can see somebody that's huddled up in this um it looks like um there's a person inside this cocoon and they got their money in there so somebody's holding back somebody uh, is uh, holding back a, a, a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn this is uh, it, their energy right somebody's feels I feel like there's somebody that feel like they've been taken advantage of financially so now they're holding on to their coins they're holding on to their money they're holding on tightly they're also holding on to their uh, feelings and emotions all right some they're holding back somebody's not giving in to a situation some type of offer could have been a money offer for from somebody to from a family situation but the reason why I feel like because this is the recent past because there was third party situation going on and this person put their time and energy or their money even finances I believe it has something to do with money but now they've held back uh, and they're keeping it to their self whoever this person is or it could be you okay vice versa remember the energies can go either way okay now your partner the way they feel or someone around you feel uh, the world is like they're starting all over again there's a partnership here but somebody's starting all over again they, they got new beginnings alright they got new beginnings it's not you it's saying it's for your partner okay or somebody who's around you that you may be interested in they started all over again. Their world has changed. Um, they're starting a new cycle in their life. Their karmic uh, new beginnings, brand new beginnings. They're starting all over again. Okay. Now, um, what's the outcome here? What's the outcome? The outcome is the three of coins. Again, I feel like, okay, you guys may be, because uh, I'm picking up a lot of pentacles, so maybe dealing with an earth sign. Again, with the three of coins, it's like this was a relationship based off of money. Somebody is greedy here, I'm telling you. Somebody is thinking about nothing but themselves, selfish, and all they worried about is getting money any 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 means necessary. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. It's all about the money. And with the three of coins and the three of cups here, uh, this person had multiple per. You or someone else had multiple uh, people. And I think I talked about that intuitively too. So it's coming out in the reading, you guys. Coming out in the reading. Spirit don't lie. And I didn't even have these cards out here, as you can tell. I didn't have the cards out here at all. Okay, now let's take a look at the future. We already seen the outcome. It's the three of coins. Somebody's like, whatever this relationship was. Uh, somebody is um, is moving forward and they're uh, making a commitment to someone else or you're making a commitment with someone else and you're on the outside looking in or they're on the outside looking in but they started all over again your partner started all over again and their outcome was you know establishing a new relationship or you know uh, establishing a relationship with somebody they already know they're like working on it they're working on a relationship with someone else and somebody's on the outside looking in
Okay, now the future. The future I see, you know, somebody needs strength here, okay? Somebody needs to be strong in their future. Gain your strength back. G gain your um your confidence back. You know, feel you know, kind of like this should give you strength. This situation should give you strength. You could be dealing with the Leo as well, okay? This is talking about taming the beast inside of yourself, becoming a better person, having courage, having your strength back again. That's a major arcana card, okay? Through it all, you know, it, 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 you need the strength or will be having strength. That's major arcana. So that's what spirit is coming in to say. Get your strength back. Get your courage back. Uh... And tame that beast inside of yourself so you can get so you can get straight. You need to be straight, okay? It's not you, it's your partner or someone that of interest. Okay, so let me go ahead and verify. Sorry about these video qualities and stuff. I've been through it all day with this technology technology stuff and technical difficulties you guys so I, I'm doing the best that I can so I can get you guys videos out I can't wait till my computer gets here <laughs> okay so your current situation you got the wheel of fortune in reverse so I'm going to go ahead and um See what they talking about with that with the wheel of fortune in reverse you got the um the hierophant okay could have been you could have been um dealing with someone that was married or you were married to because that talks about contracts and things like that spirituality doing the right thing okay something went sour in a relationship or a marriage so, to the sun in reverse, to what's coming towards you, the sun in reverse. See here, what's coming towards you with the sun in reverse. Sun in reverse, you got um the nine of wands. The nine of wands here, okay. You got might be deal, deal this is an energy card. No, it's not. Yeah, yes, it is. It's the nine. Nine of wands talks about a, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. Uh with this sun in reverse is telling me that there's somebody fighting again like somebody wants to move forward but there's no happiness in it with this sun being in reverse so somebody's blocking okay somebody's uh, guarding themselves okay uh, uh, somebody's guarding themselves against somebody and, and you're not happy about it or you're you know you're guarding yourself from your it's almost like you're blocking your blessings or something that's what I'm picking up you're blocking your blessings because you're 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 too on guard here and I feel like you're uh, wounded you're wounded as well so the ten of cups is paired with the um two of swords being conflicted about a marriage or a relationship having to make a choice this per you could be fooling around with somebody who's already taken or already married you could be having two people here in this uh reading okay two people because it's talking about you got two threes here and all this kind of stuff so you know definitely there's probably a marriage that was messed up because of um a uh two people had to make a choice and stuff like that yet it was conflicted not really wanting to see things for what they really are not making that choice just being stagnant and stuck not seeing it not looking at it knowing though because there's a moon in, in a full moon here you know you see the light you know what's going on or it could be somebody around you but that's your energy the two of swords so somebody messed up in marriage or a relationship or was in a relationship with somebody who was married and they just didn't want to see it. 
they want to see this marriage okay so they shut their eyes and just like did whatever okay for some of you or it happened to you somebody was blocking blocking you off or you blocking someone else off and they you know um and it, it, it wasn't a happy camper behind it okay so the recent past talking about the three of cups we paired off with the nine of uh, nine of cups cancer pisces scorpio so that's somebody you know with the three of cups third party situations and things like that the nine of cups it, you know all these these cup cards here together with these two like somebody could have some bad habits like drinking smoking or some type of bad habit they can't and that could be what's causing the problems or cause the problems or the same situations that keep happening over and over again is because you know it could be some something that you're that's ex that you're doing excessively which could be drinking and or drugging or something like that or too much having too many people things like that but you know the nine of cups also talks about someone who was waiting you know waiting around waiting around or got you know you got three people here and you know you just got them on hold emotionally playing with people's emotions or you know somebody's doing this to you that was your recent past P playing with people playing with three or two people here in this reading playing on their emotions and stuff and you you know and then and then you know have them waiting around like okay I, I, I'll be with you this and then I'm gonna have the other one wait and making them think that I'm with them but I'm gonna let them I let them wait and then be with them when you want to be with them and then have the other person that you with waiting okay that's what I'm hearing and it's getting to be redundant, okay? Libra, this has been going on for a few months now, okay? Now, your um, your recent, your present time with the uh, page of coins. You got the world. Okay? You got the page of coins in the world. All right? Somebody is... Um, Uh, I feel like somebody's too materialistic. That's what I'm picking up. When they have money or whatever, or, you know, just get an offer of money or everything's about money, that kind of like puts you on top of the world or someone else could be doing this. It makes you feel good when, when money is involved. Uh, I have to call it the way I'm hearing it, okay? and the way I'm feeling it it's just like money it makes the world go round in your world okay which I'm not saying nothing's wrong with it but when you have other people involved in this in this emotional situation it can cause problems and it could be somebody that's already married or taken in this relationship and that's why you're not happy or someone around you is not happy because of these these are casual this is like I said earlier casual things this is casual relationships and stuff and not seeing things you know not looking at it or not even taking it upon somebody else's uh, feelings or, or emotions here with this nine of uh, nine of cups here just like having people waiting 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 probably building somebody hopes up and then you know they waiting around and nothing never happens except when you want something which is money or vice versa okay so we got the four coins which is in your hopes and fears and this is the um this is temperance in reverse so we got the four coins and the temperance in reverse Okay, somebody holding back on their feelings and emotions, not expressing themselves, not giving up of anything. Somebody's just take, take, taking, but no, you know, somebody's not giving anything. Look at this. Somebody's taking, and, and they feel on top. They feel good about that, and um, and somebody's like holding back. They're taking it and just holding, holding back and their emotions are all out of whack okay temperance is talk that's major arcana card just as well as the world card major arcana 
So somebody's um somebody's emotions is like all messed up. Somebody's got, you know, their emotions like need to get it together because it's just not uh somebody's not in balance with their emotions. They're all over the place. Okay? They're all over the place. And somebody needs to take that temperance and, you know, put it uh, up right side up. And that's in the hopes and fears. So somebody's scared about, um, somebody's afraid to give of themselves emotionally. They're intentionally holding on or holding back, right? But it doesn't make the situation feel good it doesn't make you feel good because like i said it's redundant it's a repeated thing and it's like with multiple so how does that make anybody feel good somebody's giving 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 and somebody's taking 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 and um it's just like it's out of balance it's out of balance and the emotion emotions are all over the place so with the um, partner, your way your partner call like like I said, your partner is building a new world. They're starting all over again from a fresh. And they got the two or the ten, I'm sorry. They got the ten of swords. Okay, along with this world. So the reason why they're you know moving on and starting a brand new start is they got they got tired of feeling backstabbed either you somebody done this to you Libra or you're doing this to somebody they they build in a new world because they got tired of being backstabbed the ten of wands I mean the ten of uh, uh, swords they're like oh you thought I was dead huh thought I was dead but I'm not you know I'm not I'm building something new and tens are about you know endings for new beginnings somebody was being betrayed here but they got up and built their you know started a new world or you have done this okay so with the outcome card sorry y'all with the outcome with the three of coins with the outcome with the three of coins with this uh partner or person that you've been dealing with or who've been dealing with you okay got the queen of cups okay they found love with the three of coins the outcome is that they found love okay they offered their love to someone else or someone else offered their love to them and and it's being reciprocated because the three of coins like i said starts a new relationship it's the beginning of a new relationship that's what the three of coins is like working together with somebody they they had they they fell in, they they offered their love with somebody that they feel like they can work uh work with they can they can build something with they can have something with they can reciprocate things uh with things of uh, you know <laughs> i don't know what else to say could be dealing with cancer pisces scorpio your own energy is here with the world but that's your partner so they can have something in their natal chart here like I said don't pay the signs too much attention because it could be anybody okay so as far as the strength card in the future let's see here you need strength future uh, spirit and your angel guides are calling on you for your future to gain strength again you know find your strength find your courage build yourself back up from this uh, situation that you put yourself into okay so you have the um, ace of uh, wands you know a passionate new beginning okay but you need to you know you need to gain strength to have that these are two major arcana cards. Well, no, one is just a minor card, okay? But this is a major card. The aces are about new beginnings. Anything about aces is about starting all over and having new beginnings. So, there's a new passionate beginning. 
uh, in your future if you want it but you have to gain the strength back for it you have to gain your strength you have to build your courage up you have to you know you have to vibe high here you're going to have to do some self-healing some work on yourself or there's somebody else that's doing this okay okay so we're going to give you your advice all right and i'm going to use my deck again okay simply loves um affirmation oracle okay and the, see what the advice is here and then i'm going to use the angel card deck for an, another card for advice so your first card is going to be your advice okay here it is I'm a better person and you can be a better person in your future if you just take on these energies that spirit is asking you to take on you can be better you can do better a lot of you are going to do better because the situation like this is just not acceptable and it's getting boring boring is getting redundant and other people are involved in here and their feelings are getting hurt and um, and that energy that you're putting out there is coming right back on you. That's why as I told you in the beginning, you know, you're getting bored with a situation. You're not getting any kind of results out of this situation. But people coming, leaving, having casual relationships, and then that's it. It gets boring and redundant after a while. So become a better person, okay? And get your passion back. Get that brand new passionate beginning. Spark your life back up and get the strength and the courage that you need uh, so you can have a better future. And what's the advice card for Libra? Sign a Libra from now to the end of... Uh, now to the end. 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 <laughs> here it is yep and take action take action build your strength and courage up with this major arcana this is faded okay because it's a major arcana card and um you know get that passion back get that brand new beginning start something passionate and new okay for yourself so you can be this better person okay because you, you can do it you can do it you can do it. Spirit just said you can. That's part of your that's your future. That's your future coming up. If you want it. Now, if you don't accept it, then you know we're going to keep going around in circles here, okay? You're just going to keep experiencing the same thing over and over again for some of you out there, not all of you. Okay, let me read you your card for today and I will let you guys go. <laughs> If you if you know someone that may be going through something like this please share the video if you like it please thumb up the video and make your comments down there below I love to hear uh, feedback from you all I really do I appreciate it <laughs> if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe okay what is the card what is the card for the day what's the card for the day to end this reading for the sign of Libra here we go it just fell out living large living large so all this is your future if this is what you want to do okay you can be a better person you can have a passionate new beginning but you have to want all this it's just not going to be laid in your lap you have to want it because you have to gain the strength and 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 your uh this is destiny so spirit is saying if you go ahead and try they're going to help you all right gain your strength and confidence and they're going to make you a new you okay so take the action take the action you need to take and then you'll be living large large and in charge honey of your life okay so there you go um libra hope you enjoyed your reading We'll talk to you guys um, next month. If you need a personal private reading with me, all you do is look below and I have and all the information is in the description field. Love each and every one of you and I will talk to you next month. Take care. Bye.